forgive my appearance, but we had about a four hour train ride from Strasbourg to Lyon and we've just arrived at an Airbnb. There were three winding staircases to get up. So thank God that I have Nikita to carry mine and his 50 pound luggage because it would have been very difficult otherwise, especially for a woman like when my sisters and I travel together, we carry them by ourselves and it's hard. I know in Italy there's a lot of stairs, so the only warning, but this place is beautiful and we're right in the old historic area of Lyon. Look how cute this is. I'll, sh I'll turn the camera around and show you better because you don't want to see my tired face, but there's like this little lounge area, the bedroom, there is so much space here, so it's really lovely. There's a kitchen, little kitchen table, the entranceway. There's the washroom, <laughs> my tired little boo who did so good. And a lovely washroom and these lights, you can even make them brighter, which is wonderful. So, wow, so, so nice. We're so happy to be here. And it is both of our first times ever in Lyon, so, I'm so excited to explore and this is a foodie city. So if you love food, you should definitely come to Lyon from what we've heard and we're going to be eating our way through the city basically. So, so we have to do our molecular test <laughs> a little dirty. because we're living in crazy times right now. So we're probably going to freshen up, find a pharmacy, do that because we need to do it within 72 hours of travel. And this would be now we're leaving on Monday and it is Friday. So we're here for the weekend basically. So let's go. We're eating some almond croissants that we actually picked up in Strasbourg. We were going to eat on the train, but it was a little bit sketchy with everyone coughing. <laughs> so we saved them for now and they're so delicious. Oh my gosh. Heavenly. We're at Leon. All we were doing is taking videos all over the place. <laughs> look how beautiful it is right here. Oh my goodness. Nikita wow, and I right now are on a mission because like I said, we have to get our little test done, but what a beautiful sunny day today. I just had to take a video. Look all around. Look at the hill. Oh my goodness. The entire city is on the big Gorgeous. mountain. Hello. So tomorrow we have our COVID test scheduled, our rapid test. We actually got lucky. The lady pharmacist was so nice who helped us in the end. So we have our test booked. Otherwise I think it was booked until Thursday. So if you're flying, make sure that you have your test booked ahead of time. But we, Thank God everything hopefully is going to be okay. Yes. Pray for negative results. But now we're going to explore Lyon and we are going to definitely be eating well tonight, I'm sure, <laughs> because this is a foodie city. So we can't wait to see the city with our taste buds. And now we're in this lovely large square. Well, look how beautiful you can see the castle. Oh, yeah, stunning. We are gonna cut it all up. Hey, do you wanna go up there? No. Kidding! <laughs> so today we are going to a bouchon. A bouchon. And now what is a bouchon? You can explain. It is an eatery. Mm -hmm. And the history behind the name is when folks would go on horses, they would, uh, the restauranteurs would put straws yes. in front of their uh, restaurants. Like bales of hay? Like a, some sort of straw or yeah, hay, hay yeah. in front of their restaurants mm -hmm. in order for the people who are going on horses to know that you can stop here to eat and park your horse. Yes. Um, hence the name Bouchon. Bouchon. Yeah, that's one of the theories. Yes, because there's many different reasons for this. Yeah. And as well, I heard that you eat very good there for a reasonable price. And it's all of like the up and coming chefs you're saying, right? Yes, uh, a lot of young chefs who then become Michelin, Michelin star, uh, work their way through the Lyonnais uh, food market. Yes, a yeah. lot of foodie, a lot of the main up and coming chefs are always from Lyon and then they go on to just open their own fancy restaurants, maybe in Paris, but there's a lot of Michelin star restaurants here too. So maybe we'll do one if we can, if we have time, but I really want to try the Bouchons because they're characteristic of Lyon specifically. So yeah. yes, so it opens later. We're just going to explore the city a little bit first. Who knows, maybe grab a little street food or something along the way. I don't think so. Maybe not. Okay, well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so we are at Place de la Bouchons. De Lyon. You can see <laughs> it's very pretty here. It's so lovely. Nikita and I were just saying that this gives us like 
Barcelona vibes. <laughs> and I said, even some Italian cities can be like this. It's kind of like the more cool version of where we've been, I would say. Yeah. Where Paris was like very chic. Strasbourg was so cutesy. This is like the cool sort of vibe. You know, you feel like you're in a big city and this is the third biggest city in France. So we're really excited to explore it. After we had a little pause with Strasbourg, which was quite small, it's going to be nice to just get our steps in again, walk around, explore, and we'll need it because like I said, we will be eating. So yes, we're just having such a lovely time so far. Bartholdi Fountain? Bartholdi Fountain. Beautiful. This is such a lovely area with all of these yeah. things here. It's a square and right across there's a museum. The oh. Beau... The Beau-Arc de Lyon. The Beau-Arc de Lyon? The Beau-Arc de Lyon. <laughs> so this is a very lovely square. So there you go. Leon, but now we're about to cross over and head to the Vieux Leon. This is where we have our Airbnb in the old area, which is called the Vieux Leon. You can see how beautiful it is. There's actually this little tower they jokingly call it like the little Eiffel Tower because it sort of resembles, I think, the, the third tower of the Eiffel Tower. So, probably the top, it sort of gives that similar vibe. And it's just beautiful here. And Nikita is just saying that it is arguably one of the most beautiful stops <laughs> more breathtaking than paris especially wow. the the hill yes. with all the beautiful buildings right on top of it yes it, it's it may not feel like that when when you're seeing it from the camera but yeah. the fact that it's so far away yeah and it's layered on on to the mountain and then yeah. you can see literally buildings all over this place yeah beautiful it's stunning very stunning and just the weather happens to be a lovely day as well hope for good weather all week now we're going back to the Airbnb. We're going to walk around our little View Leon area just to see the old port. I don't know what it would be called. The old district. <laughs> and we're going to also eventually eat. But first, Nikita will definitely be changing his jacket. I told him to wear a warmer jacket. No, no, no. Guess who needs one now? Me. <laughs> Is it syrup? I don't know, but yep. we got some wine and we got some sausage. Nikita wanted some sausage. Oh my, I found a little candies that I wanted to try, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Looks good. So we're I, going to go home and try. I always wanted to go to a place where I can have the wine mm -hmm. and the meat typical, sold together. Typical of the region. So we are here at the B&B. We're having our own little aperitif at home before we try a restaurant here. And Nikita was so excited <laughs> to, find to find a little tiny sausage place mm -hmm. and a wine and place wines. in the same store. Yes, exactly. And I found these candies. These red ones are pralines, which is very typical of the region. They're very known for pralines here, I feel like. So here we go, opening this wine. We just asked for recommendations of something typical, sausage, wine, and we're going to try this. The only thing we're missing is bread, to be honest. Mm. These are so good. I feel like it's a praline in the center with like fruit and like a marzipan paste. Oh my gosh, that's right up my alley. Mm. Cheers, love. Let it breathe a little bit. Mmm, smells good. Cheers. Cheers. Love you. Love you. Mmm. Ooh. Yeah. She One said, of the better wines, I think. She said it's a little stronger. Well, I love strong wine, I feel like. <laughs> I'm not much of a drinker, but I do like strong wine. Watch this. This was really nice, actually. Very delicious. Ah, 
Je me suis quoi de rien? Wow! It smells very fresh. Wow. Cut it thin, thin for me. Thin to win, in the words of my dad. <laughs> Delish? Mm. Are you happy? Delicious. <laughs> mm. Happy? Feeling yeah. good? This is my vibe. Our first stop in Lyon? Mm. <laughs> Are you with me? <laughs> this is my kind of vibe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Delish? Yeah, yeah. Really good uh, meat and wine. Mm. That's exactly why I came here. <laughs> First step is this. What is this called? The egg. Something. The egg. Something. I'll write it down. Mm, dig in. I think we can open this. So crack it open. Let's see what it looks like inside. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Go. Oh, let it spill out. Mm. Mm, that looks so good. Huh? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all this creamy sauce. Wow. You have to try it. So good. So this is the famous cheese. I'll link the name down below. The rice pudding. It's, oh my god. It dissolves in it. Wow. <laughs> okay, this is ugly. <laughs> but you have to try and cut it. Yeah, Just yeah. try and cut it, please. Okay. Use your. I have no words for <laughs> This is the best rice pudding I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I'm so full. <laughs> we ate one of, I think, one of my favorite meals of the trip. What would yes. you say? I agree. It was delicious from the starter, those eggs. It was like a poached eggs in that wine sauce. Oh my God, it was like heavenly. And then the mains were that pasta, that like rich pasta. I can't even talk because I feel so full. <laughs> and then the main highlight for us was that fish dish. The fish souffle. <laughs> fish souffle. <laughs> fish souffle was uh, tremendous. It was incredible. In lobster, some sort of lobster sauce. Oh my gosh. Uh, you could swim in it. Oh. It was that delicious. And then you tried the classic cheese. The cheese was good. The famous cheese. Yeah. I feel like my sisters would have probably liked that because it reminded yeah. me more of like a a brie, a, a brie type of cheese, you know, a very yeah. pungent and creamy cheese. And then yeah. the rice pudding guys, incredible. So all in all, that was one of our favorite meals of the entire trip, I would say. It was very memorable, yes. but man am I full. This cuisine is heavy, heavy. And it's the first stop at a Lyon Bouchon. Yes, exactly. Lyonnaise. And to be honest, this entire trip, we've been winging it. We haven't booked any restaurants at all. We'll just show up kind of around when they're opening and ask for a table. So that's what happened to us tonight. He said, we're all booked, but I have a table here. It's kind of near the door, so I never really book it out. If you guys are comfortable to sit here and we're like, yes, we want to sit here because we went to another Bouchon first and they were completely booked up, but we have a, a spot reserved for us for tomorrow for lunch, a late lunch. Thank God I'm so full. And it seems so exciting. And the guy was really sweet who told us and he's like, oh, just so you know, he's like, we don't have like salads here or anything. And I'm like, oh no, we don't care about salads. <laughs> <laughs> like as if I cared about a salad because it's heavy food, heavy, unique cuisine. Um, obviously way more inexpensive than any Michelin star restaurant. But again, these are from chefs who are really up and coming and they cook fantastic. It's incredible. Delicious so. food. <sighs> so we're yeah. trying to walk it off, but it's actually really cold tonight. So we're just walking a little bit of the little old town here and then we're heading home heading to bed. Well, we're right beside the house and this is what's right around us, <laughs> right? The big cathedral. But this is what's up above us. Oh yeah, you can see. We saw it when we were walking. It's so incredible with these lights. Uh -huh. That's really cool. 
Day one, our first, not even full day, but our first day here has been fun. Very good.